Now, I said we had two more examples of the future of portable gaming for you today. And here's the second. Now, I know you haven't seen this. It's Game Boy Micro. Game Boy Micro. Just a hair bigger and about two thirds the weight of an iPod Mini. But this little package plays every Game Boy Advance game you own. It is not new technology, but it is a brand new look. A new look in the sense that it has the best and brightest screen we've ever put in a handheld. A new look in the sense that no matter how tight your jeans, it'll still fit in your pocket. <laughs> and a new look in the fact that you can customize it in the, any way you want with a wide array of faceplates. When it comes to market, this fall, Micro represents yet another morphing of the Game Boy brand, this time to the image-conscious consumer. It's not a successor to Game Boy Advance or Nintendo DS, but rather a further extension of portable play. If competitors don't like our two-to-one advantage, dominating market share with both SP and DS, well, I've got bad news because we just made it two and a half to one. <laughs> Micro means a new way to play Game Boy. Wi-Fi Internet means a new way to play DS. But to repeat, at heart, we remain a content company. What's most important are the new games avail available to play on your Nintendo handhelds, new games just like these. We gave you DS, a new Game Boy, and new games to play on them. And now you say, you want a revolution? Well, we've got one. This is a Nintendo Revolution prototype we have with us for meetings this week in Los Angeles. Clearly, 
Revolution is by far the smallest console we've ever manufactured. In its final form, it will be even smaller than this, about the size of three standard DVD cases stacked together. It will play either horizontally or vertically. These are the prototype colors we are thinking about. We haven't decided yet on a final choice. Maybe you and your readers would like to let us know what you think. Revolution games will play on 12 centimeter optical disc. These games, along with all GameCube software, will play through the same self-loading media drive. Owners can also choose a small internal attachment to play movies and other DVD contents. The system will contain 512 megabytes of onboard flash memory, as well as the option to add SD memory cards. We will also be incorporating our own digital rights management software to deter sharing of intellectual property. <laughs> Beyond this, I want to be specific about the technology inside the housing. So I hope you let me create some elements of mystery to my further remarks today. Maybe we can look at this as a form of puzzle game. First, let me assure you there is no mystery to the development of our core technology. When you turn on revolution and see the graphics, you will say, wow. <laughs> our partners, IBM and ATI, are working with us to assure this. But the advances in our technology will also relate to areas that have no direct bearing on gameplay. I know, this is one of those mysterious comments. Our competitors have taken time to detail the power of their core processor and their on-screen displays. Let me try to suggest the added benefit of our technical approach with Revolution. Every home, every home game machine in history has married a controller to a console and a console to a TV. In the next generation, the addition of the internet will be important to all consoles and particularly important to Nintendo. Wi-Fi capability will be built into every Nintendo revolution. How these four elements, controller, console, TV, and internet, interact with each other forms a central difference in revolution design. Our goal in customizing these con connections is to develop a device when, which is functional and appealing to every member of a household, whether they consider themselves gamers or not. It is right for everyone. I can confirm that all controllers for revolution will be wireless using broad, Broadcom technology. The controllers will also be very unique in ways we will share with you later. But I will tell you, we are already working on several Wi-Fi titles, each starring one of our key franchise characters. One or two Wi-Fi games will be ready for launch. And I am pushing our teams to make sure Smash Brothers is one of them.
That way, no matter where Reggie is, I can always beat him. <laughs> In fact, it is, the, it is the game experience that will most separate Revolution from its competitors. So let me talk about other games for a few minutes. Of course, we all love what Mr. Miyamoto has created over the years. But for Revolution, he is challenging his team to create something brand new. His newest creation is set to debut with Revolution. What is that? I am sorry, but Mr. Miyamoto is keeping quiet for now. Of course, it would be foolish to ignore the franchise we've already created, the best group of game stars in history. So you will certainly be seeing them on Revolution. Next generation versions of Mario and Zelda are already underway. We also have a big plan for Metroid in our revolution, a franchise that has evolved constantly with each appearance. And with revolution, some will take you places you've never gone before. The key here is not what you are playing, but how you will be playing. We expect that much like Nintendo and Electroplankton, Revolution will act to create entirely new genres to expand the definition of video game. To help us, key second party developers who have been so important to game creation for Nintendo GameCube will provide exclusive content for Revolution. We expect strong third-party support in both hemispheres because we believe they will appreciate our creative approach. For example, Square Enix is already working on a Wi-Fi-enabled version of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles for Revolution. <laughs> on one hand, Revolution is the perfect home for video game masterpiece. Games that look beautiful, games that play flawlessly, masterpieces that connect you to the game story like no system before. But not everyone sets out to create an expensive, time-consuming masterpiece. And here, Revolution also earned its name. We are convinced game creation on Revolution can be the most developer-friendly, simpler, faster, and less expensive than any other new system. In this next generation, development cost will commonly move well into eight figures. Developers will become more endangered. For them, we offer a solution to help maximize creative freedom while controlling development investments. This is a console where the big idea can prevail over big budgets. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to give you one full answer to a piece of the revolution puzzle I have talked about previously, backward compatibility. As I said, the disk drive will accept GameCube games, but we are redefining the term backward compatibility. That's because we have designed Revolution to be a virtual console capable of downloading 20 years of Nintendo content. to 